Muller, one of our keynote speakers here at Guest 2017. Derek, welcome. Um, can you just, for anyone that missed your presentation this morning, can you just tell us a little bit about what your uh, subject matter was? Yeah, you know, I was speaking about how technology has made dramatic changes to education, but how it's never quite lived up to the revolutionary hype that I think accompanies any new educational technology dating back to the motion picture and radio and, and TV and, and film uh, and computers. Mm -hmm. And so my big question is why has the technology never lived up to the hype? And I think the big takeaway message is that learning is a lot more about what happens in someone's head, in someone's brain, than what happens outside the learner. So I'm sort of cautioning when we think about new technologies that you can make a presentation which is much flashier and, and looks much better than its actual educational impact. So I, I sort of have a, a, a focus on the brain first rather than what amazing uh, tech can we, can we produce. Okay, and you, you were talking sort of historically there about uh, radio and, 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 and film. What sort of examples would you use to sort of explain that? Sure, I mean, back in 1922, Thomas Edison was saying textbooks are going to be out in a couple of years. We're all going to just gonna use motion pictures. In the 1980s, they thought computers, now that they're interactive, were going to be the real ticket to education. And they thought that uh, by teaching students how to program, they would actually learn uh, critical thinking and reasoning skills. Because, you know, programming, you, you can see where someone could get the idea that there might be a connection there. but. All of these uh, little experiments have generally yielded no significant difference over past methods, which is, I think, why we still use books, because there, there's nothing really different to reading information off a page than to hearing it or seeing it in, in VR. Like, the, the fundamental issue is, is it the right kind of stimulus that this person needs at that time, and is it, is it something they can engage with? And uh, also, does it feel social? Is it something they connect with on a sort of a, a, a motivational level? All of that, to me, points to the social direction of learning that, that has traditionally been important between a teacher and students and between students and each other. So I, I fundamentally feel like that is a piece that's not going away. We're not going to replace teachers anytime soon or that face-to-face -face time in the classroom, as advanced as artificial intelligence may become. Okay, so yours is really a cautionary tale of, of tech, technology, really? Yeah, I mean, you could say a cautionary tale. I think it's just like a wise reading of history. When, when I search for education and, and the word revolutionize, you get zillions of hits. Yeah. And you get hits from the 90s when people thought video discs would revolutionize education, right? right? And th that was published in academic literature, and these are the giant CD things that nobody uses anymore. And it's, but that was revolutionizing education 20 years ago. Uh, now what's it gonna be? VR, what was it five years ago? MOOCs, massive open online courses. All of these things feel much more like a fashion and a fad to me than like a fundamental shift in the way uh, education happens. There are industries, I think, that are ripe for disruption now, and we're already seeing some like, you know, taxis in the last five years, transportation uh, with self-driving cars the next five years. There are huge disruptions happening. Education, and I may be wrong, but I don't feel like it's ripe for disruption. Okay, that's, that's good, it's good. Um, so moving on a little bit more about Guess itself, I mean, this is your first time at the show. What are your initial impressions? Well, this is a phenomenal show from what I've seen so far. There are great keynote speakers, and uh, the whole floor has you know, some great materials that I think would be very useful for using in the classroom. So I think it's really inspirational to, to see everyone come together to think about education and, and how to improve the lives of students around the world. It's, uh, it's phenomenal. Great. Thank you very much.